you know, getting the opportunity to play the second time around with your loved one um, was obviously an amazing experience. I think that all of us have times in our life when a situation or circumstance comes up that will, will, that will either change a course of your life or perhaps even change a relationship. And this was definitely one of those circumstances that will forever change the relationship between me and my daughter. I mean, coming into this from day one, I was, okay, Sierra, here's how you do it. Here's playing the mother role of, here's what it's all about. I have experience in this, just like a mother would tell her kids, here's how you eat, here's how you walk, here's how you sleep, here's how you live on day one. And then at the end of it, having her be an, not only an equal, but she outlasted me in this game. And to see the transformation of our relationship where I was guiding her through this process to where midway, halfway through, she was my equal in this game telling me, okay, mom, here's what's going on. And what that did to our relationship was has increased my respect and increased how much I rely on her opinion now and rely on her, her input in life and because she's a great person and her discernment. So to, to have that from day one, me telling her how to live her life to where we're at now has changed our relationship and I'm so thankful for that. I would go into the challenges and every time I'd have the same ritual that I would do. I, didn't, I never knew what the challenge was gonna be, but I would somehow walk myself through, I would see myself winning the challenge, and then I would, that's where I would draw my confidence from. It wasn't always until after the challenge was over that I realized the fear of what could have gone wrong in the challenge. For an example, with the building the card, the stack of cards, I didn't have any fear going into that of it falling down. I don't know why, I don't know what it was. I was just boom, 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 build this as fast as I can. It wasn't until the challenge was done and I was watching it and I saw the cards falling that I got struck with that fear of, oh my gosh, my, my tower could have fell. Same thing with that key, when you had to build that, stretch the thing out and reach the key. I had no fear of the key falling off the ring like what had happened to Katie and then trying to dig it out of the sand. I, I didn't have that fear until I was done playing and then I realized, oh my gosh, if my key would have fell off, I would So something, something clicked in my mind, I don't know what it was, that I, I was fearlessly able to play these challenges. And then once I was done, the reality of what could have gone wrong would hit me. And um, I think it was the matter of when I would go through my pre-game ritual of I'm going in, I'm going to win, I see myself winning, and I didn't even see what could happen. So um, it, was, it, it was a great feeling especially the first challenge going up against an NFL player and a West Point medical student. I'm just thinking, like I said, David and Goliath, are you kidding me? I mean, my first challenge, I have to go up against these two and to blow them away was like, I can, all right, they're, they're no better, they're no tougher than, matter of fact, I got an edge on them. So um, it was a constant build of confidence but I wanted to make sure that that confidence wasn't confused with arrogance. I wanted to make sure that you can't walk into a challenge and be like, oh, I hope I win this challenge. You know, when the NBA players, the NFL players don't walk in saying, oh, you know, I hope we do good today, guys. They walk in saying, we're gonna kill it. Someone's gonna get hurt today and it's not gonna be me. And um, then it, after the game, you humble yourself again to say, Thank God that that went my way. So to get the opportunity to play Survivor for a second time, and not only just for a second time, but with a loved one, has, has dramatically impacted our life. I mean, we get, we, all of us in our lives, like I'd mentioned, have things that happen that change the course of your life and change your relationships. And this experience has done both. Um, but the one that I'm most, most appreciative of is the way that it's changed my relationship with 
my daughter, Sierra. And the way that our relationship now is um, a completely new, but yet that foundation that we originally built it on is still there. And I'm so thankful for this opportunity to come back again and to play, to see my daughter transform into this girl that wouldn't even do the obstacle course at church camp, <laughs> to, to be in this feisty, smart, resilient woman. I, I am so thankful for CBS and for Survivor for allowing that opportunity for me to see that.